Hearing none, the chair advises members of Congress, the certificates having been read, the tellers will ascertain and deliver the result to the President of the Senate. The undersigned, Roy Blunt and Amy Klobuchar, tellers on the part of the Senate, Zoe Lofgren and Rodney Davis, tellers on the part of the House of Representatives, report the following as a result of the ascertainment and counting of the electoral vote for President and Vice President of the United States for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. He has a statement. He has a statement. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for President of the United States are as follows. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida has received 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for Vice President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for Vice President of the United States are as follows. Kamala D. Harris of the state of California has received 306 votes. Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana has received 232 votes. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected President and Vice President of the United States, each for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021, and shall be entered together with the list of the votes on the journals of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The chair now recognizes for the purpose of closing prayer. Amen. The purpose of the joint session having concluded, pursuant to Senate Concurrent Resolution 1, 117th Congress, the chair declares the joint session dissolved.